Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my hair care routine video. So I'm just going to share with you guys what I use in what I use in my hair and how I've kept it healthy and how I've grown it to be long and keeping it blonde and that kind of thing. So if you're interested to know more about my hair, then just keep watching. So to start off, I'll tell you a little backstory of my hair. Basically, my natural hair color is pretty much this color here. It is like a dirty ash blondy light brown shade. So my natural hair color is quite light. I'm by no means dark, that's why everything else is so fair on me, that's why I have fair skin, have fair eyebrows and all of that kind of thing. And I have never dyed my hair to be dark or anything like that. Um, the only time I've actually ever dyed my hair was when I was a teenager and I used to do um, the bottom half of my hair so I'd get all this bit and dye it dark brown. Um, you, do, does anyone remember when that was a thing where you'd have half dark brown hair and half blonde? That's the only time I've ever dyed my hair. I've never used a blonde hair dye. I have always gotten foils. So when I was younger <clears throat> and I first started to want to do my hair and get it more blonde, um, my mum would do just like a foil at home streaking kit. But as I got older, I started going to the hairdressers, obviously, and just getting like half a head of foils and that kind of thing. So basically all I get done now is foils. I either get a full head or a half head of blonde foils. Um, they don't do any special colour, they just do all the one shade of blonde and because of my natural hair colour it mixes in together and creates this blonde colour. So the hair salon that I go to is just a little family owned hair salon um, in the south coast of New South Wales in a town called Ulladulla. Um, that is where I used to live before I moved, so I still travel back there and get my hair done because I trust them and they always do such a good job and they're more affordable than anyone else up here. And I've just gone to them for the longest time so they know what to do with my hair. At the moment I haven't had any foils done for about... The last time I had some done was the beginning of September, so it's been a couple of months now, it's probably due for some more but as you can see my regrowth is not noticeably bad so I can get away with getting my hair done like once every three months once every four months it just depends how long I want to leave it obviously I prefer it to be blonde and fresh and that kind of thing but um, it does save me a lot of money having light colored hair I did get a comment from Melissa saying how does your hair not go a terrible texture and go brassy like you've been in the beach all day and naughty when it's wet. I'm lucky. My hair is just soft and smooth naturally. So if you saw my mum's hair, when my mum's hair dries like naturally, um, mum gets really frizzy coarse hair um, and I'm the opposite. So I don't know where I got this kind of hair from, but whoever gave it to me, I am thanking you. So yeah, my hair will get naughty sometimes, but even after it's been freshly done, I just take care of it and use hair oils and that kind of thing and it just doesn't get knotty and the reason it doesn't go brassy is again because my natural hair colour is an ash like cool toned base so if I were to have a warm toned brown hair colour naturally and I put blonde over the top then it would go probably a brassy orangey shade but the ma that's the main reason why it doesn't go brassy is just because I was lucky. So I'm going to go through and show you guys what hair care products I use now. But to start off, the shampoo that I have been using for a while now is the Matrix Exquisite Oil Biolage Moringa Oil Blend Micro Oil Shampoo. So this is like the smoothing one. I don't find that this weighs my hair down or anything like that. I really love this shampoo. Um, I love the way these ones smell and I always use this brand, so Matrix Biolage. I think this is one of the best brands out there. I think once you switch over from using drugstore hair products um, and start using high-end hair products and really good quality salon products, you will see such a difference in your hair. I know it's expensive, but if you buy it, like I've had this massive bottle for months and months and months. This lasts me so, so, so long. So in the end, it was really, really worth it. And you see the biggest difference in your hair once you start just using products that are designed for salon use. So I would highly recommend all of the Matrix um, Biolage products. I also really love the color range, which is the pink range. And I love the um, 
Oh no, this is the exquisite oil. <laughs> Any of these Matrix products are just absolutely beautiful. I love them. For a purple shampoo and a shampoo that I use probably once a week to tone my hair is the Fudge Clean Blonde Violet Toning Shampoo. The packaging has now changed on this so it doesn't look like this anymore. But this is hands down the best purple shampoo of life. If you are struggling to find a shampoo, you need this one in your life. This one you can buy in pharmacies and that kind of thing, so it is technically drugstore. Um, although salons and like hair house, warehouse kind of places do, st do sell this as well. This is an extremely pigmented purple shampoo. I've never seen anything quite so pigmented. It can really stain your hair if you leave it in for too long. Um, a trick I do sometimes when I feel like I don't want to do my whole head in this is I'll mix a little bit of this with my normal shampoo, mix it together and make a little cocktail and then shampoo it into my hair and it like lessens the concentrate so it's not quite so purple. So I've tried a few high-end purple shampoos, I've tried other drugstore ones and this is the one I keep coming back to. It is my all-time favourite dry, dry shampoo, purple shampoo and I recommend it to everyone. It is just the bomb. For conditioner, I just go the same with what I do with my shampoos. I just use higher end products that you get from the salon. Um, but I don't really stick to a brand kind of thing. I am at the moment using this Joico um, Color Endure Conditioner. So this is just a big massive bottle. Again, I just always buy the big bottles when I find them because they just last for so long. I've had this for so long. I only wash my hair between one and three times a week, just so you know. I used to be a everyday washer and my hair never looked nice. Like, I'll be honest, my hair looked greasy and heavy and basically when you stop washing your hair every day, you're training it to stop producing so much oil and looking so greasy and it just is so much better for your hair. It's so much healthier for your hair to not wash your hair every single day. And I used to never understand people who like didn't wash their hair every day. I thought, oh, that's disgusting. Your hair feels so gross. And like, if trust me, I was there. But you slowly, slowly get used to it. And dry shampoo will be your best friend. So moving back onto the conditioner front. Um, yeah, I don't think conditioners make that much of a difference. Like I use them, obviously. If you find a really good oil-based one, I think they work really well. But I just kind of use whatever... Um, high-end conditioner I can find. The product that does condition my hair and make the world of difference though is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. So this is highly raved about and for good freaking reason. This is the best hair mask I've ever used. Usually with hair masks they, I don't know, they kind of don't feel like they do anything. This one just repairs your hair, makes it so soft, so shiny, so smooth, so silky. Oh, it just gives your hair everything that you could want. So I only use this about once a week to once every two weeks. Like sometimes I'll forget to use it in that week. So yeah, but generally I'll try and use this once a week. It's a very heavy mask, so you don't need to use it. Like you would definitely not use this every time you washed your hair unless you wash your hair once a week. If you haven't tried this, I would absolutely recommend trying it. You can get really little sample sizes, I think. So Maybe just go and see if you can get a sample size to try, but I promise you, you'll fall in love with this product. It's amazing. A hair oil that I've had for years now and I've been using for years is the Matrix Exquisite Oil with Moringa Blend. Repl replenishing Treatment Oil. So this is what it looks like. They actually came out with two different kinds now. So there's a pink one, one in pink packaging that's for really thin hair, so it's not a heavy oil. This one's the medium one. And there is one in a dark brownish orangey um, tube that is for thick coarse hair. So my mum uses that one. Um, this oil is my life. I love this so, so, so much. I don't know if you can see, but I'm nearly out of it. So I'm going to need to purchase a new one. It smells amazing. It works amazing. One of my favorite ways to use this is if I've got curls in my hair and it's a few days after I've curled my hair and the ends are just looking a bit ratty. And that kind of thing so I'll just take a few pumps of that rub it into my hands and just go like this in the ends of my hair and just run it all through and it like repairs the silkiness to your hair instantly let's try and do a little demo so I just sort of squeeze it in and then just use the remainder 
to smooth it out. And I don't know if you can see that, but it makes my hair so shiny and feel so, so, so nice. I love that hair oil. I will continue to repurchase it probably to the day I die. I love it so, so, so much. And um, around Christmas time, you can get to gift packs. So I remember I got this for Christmas. It came with hair, shampoo and conditioner and the oil. And the oils lasted me for so long because you literally need one to two pumps for your entire head. Moving on to kind of how I dry my hair and that kind of thing, I just want to sort of include everything in this video. Um, I do blow, blow dry my hair after I wash it, um, just because it blow dries completely straight so I don't have to straighten it and it's just easier for me. I like the way my hair is a lot better when I've blow dried it. So the dryer that I have and I recommend is the GHD... Has this got a name? I don't know if it has a name, but it's just the GHD... Um, hair dryer. So it is a very expensive hair dryer. I think I got mine for $250. They're usually retail for about $300. Um, but this is so worth it if you're someone who blow dries your hair often. It blow dries so fast so you don't have to have heat on your hair for too long. And I just feel like this is such a good quality hair dryer. A lot of the time with the cheaper ones, they just make your hair frizzy and not so nice. Whereas I absolutely adore this one. So I just wanted to mention my hair dryer quickly. And the hair straightener I use is also a GHD hair straightener. I just have it in this little pouch. So I have the metallic red one. Again, I got this for Christmas about three years ago and it was still going so strong. These, I think, last for years and years and years and they are really, really good hair straighteners. So when I do want to straighten my hair, this is what I use. And then I get so many questions about what hair curler I use. I have done a video showing how I curl my hair and that kind of thing before, which I will link down below if you're interested. But the hair curler I use is the Remington Curl It Wand. So it's one without a clamp, it's thicker at the bottom and it becomes skinnier as it gets to the end. Um, there's not much to say about it. It's fairly cheap. It was around $50. I got it from Maya and I love this hair curler. There's not much else to say about it. It just does the job. It works. It doesn't damage my hair and I love it. I just have a few more hair care products to show you guys and then we will be done. So I mentioned before that I don't wash my hair very often and what saves me in between my washes is dry shampoo. Oh, this stuff is so good. This one's the Tony and Guy Cleanse Dry Shampoo Day 2 Freshness. I also absolutely adore the Batiste Dry Shampoo. My favourite one is the one with the Leopard Tin, so the Leopard Can. Um, that's my favourite scent. If you are trying to stretch out the time between washing your hair, just get a dry shampoo and experience the amazingness that is dry shampoo. For the hairspray I use, um, I actually use this Fudge Skyscraper Medium Hold Apple and Coconut Aerosol Hairspray. This is a brand new tin. Why do I keep calling them tins? They're cans. It's a brand new can because this one is empty. And I've been purchasing this one for years. If you're someone who doesn't like crunchy hair when you've curled it or anything like that, um, you need to try this one because it is so soft you can brush it out of your hair but it holds your hair all day like four days days and days so I love this um, hairspray and it smells so good like apple and coconut flavored so good um, another product that is along the dry shampoo front is a dry conditioner this is also by the brand fudge um, and it's just called the Fudge Dry Conditioner, Waterless Aerosol Conditioner to cleanse, refresh, to cleanse and refresh between washes. So this smells again so amazing. Fudge products smell so 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 good. And this is something that I again like to put through the ends of my hair, um, just when they start to get a bit dry, and when they just need a little bit more oomph to them. So I'll just spray this through. It softens your hair, gives it back that shine. And makes it feel like it's being freshly conditioned so I highly recommend this product and then I just thought I'd show you guys the brush that I use for my hair and it's got hair in it but what can you expect from a hairbrush um, these are just the best brushes for wet hair and just for hair in general um, I really like them so they're like the soft bristles they're not the big hard ones I just thought I'd show you my brush in case anyone was interested in what brush I use um, the last thing I just wanted to mention is the last time I cut all of my hair off was 
when I was in year 11. So this was about five or six years ago. I basically cut all my hair up to this length, um, which I liked at the time and it was fine, but it has all grown back and I've never had a massive cut since then. Um, every time I go to the hairdressers, I get a trim. I'll at least get one or two inches off the ends of my hair. And that is what keeps hair healthy. You need to get it trimmed. There's no way you can fix split ends. There's no product you can use in them that replenishes them. You need to get them cut off. If your hair is suffering and it's dead on the ends and you keep just applying product, it's not going to work. Just go to the hairdresser and get it cut. And you'll see so much of a difference when you get regular trims in your hair. So I just wanted to put that out there as well. That's why my hair is so long because I do get those regular trims. I use products in it that you know replenish it and take care of it so that is going to be it for my hair care video guys I really hope it was helpful and I hope I answered some questions that you may have had about my hair if you do have any more questions at all please feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer all of them um, and if you have any other requests for videos, always leave them down below. I'm always open to new suggestions from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!